the ones that take floppy disks inside of them? The fact that the monitor is bigger than the actual computer itself it says a lot. I have no clue what year this is from, but I feel like this is before I was born. He had one of these for a really short time. So go ahead and turn on the computer. Okay, uh, it's been a while. I'm gonna go with the big button right here. Or not. Again. Oh, I, I have to hold it down. No, wait, what the heck? That's the monitor. Nope. Uh, that one, I think, right? That's just the monitor. Oh, shoot. <laughs> My dad is gonna be so proud of me right now. Right here is the power. Okay. I know enough. The noises are very interesting. I don't think I've ever heard a computer make these sounds before in my life. It's a lot louder. A lot more beeps. Take your time there. Do, 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 do. This is taking a while. You usually boot up, then you go get like your snack. And then and then once your snack is all done, then you come here and it's already done booting up. Uh, Windows 95. Okay, it's before a little bit before my time. It's prehistoric. It really is. It's an old dinosaur. Oh. Oh. Okay. So this operating system on this computer in many ways changed the face of desktop computing forever, and that was Windows 95. Wow. 95 as in like 1995? Have you ever heard of Windows 95? I mean, I've never used it, but... I've heard of it. As a joke, like I see a lot of things on the internet that's like, ha, ah, Windows 95 sucks. The current, they need to know part of the past. So generally speaking, what is different about how this looks compared to the computers today? Oh, this is where to start. Everything <laughs> looks so dull in nature. It looks almost exactly the same as like the Windows operating systems like nowadays, but they're just not as refined. It seems more rough. The edges are more sharp. It's a little more impersonal. It's very blank. I feel like there's really nothing going on. Just Internet Explorer and Inbox and all this other stuff. Like the basic stuff. Okay, so we're going to walk you through some of Windows 95. All right. So look around at the applications. Do you recognize any of them? Recycle Bin. <laughs> My computer and that's it. Okay, I know Recycle Bin. I know Internet Explorer. The dreaded Internet Explorer. I can only assume that it's even worse than we think it is right now. So let's go online through a 10-year-old browser and open it. We can get online on this? I'm going to double click. It says Internet Explorer cannot open the internet site. Oh gosh, I think I already broke it. Oh, do I have to set up the... Wait, is this dial-up? Well, the internet won't work because there's no Wi-Fi in Windows 95. <gasps> what? Device or Internet Explorer? That doesn't make any sense. How do you get on the internet if there's no Wi-Fi? Okay, so how do I get online? Dial up. Plug that in. Well, you need it to connect a phone line to your modem to get on the internet. I, wait, what is a modem? A modem is a device that sends data to or from your computer that gets you online. And back then, modems had to use phone lines to make that possible. So you'd have to use your phone to go on internet? Oh, and isn't that, like, really loud, like, <laughs> thing? It's scary to think that Wi-Fi is, like, so vital to us now. If you go somewhere and don't have Wi-Fi, like, that's the worst thing that could ever happen to you. Stall Windows 95, it took 13 floppy disks one by one. Whoa! That's intense! Holy shit, that, that takes time. I remember what a floppy disk is. That's that square thing, right? And those are take hours to install. I'm sorry, this is just really blowing my mind. <laughs> is that the way it is to install things now? No. <laughs> no, usually you disconnect to Wi-Fi and then, like, downloading. If I put in a game to download the game onto my Xbox, it takes, like, two hours! I was waiting for my file 4 to download, I'm like... Can I play this? Generally, like, if I have to update my computer, do a little refresh thing, or, like, get my security. As sad as it sounds, if it takes more than five minutes, I get pretty frustrated. So we just passed the 20th anniversary of Windows 95 last year. Oh, awesome. Happy birthday. With all the technology that you've grown up with and used today, do you ever think when you're on a computer or on your phone of just how far things have come and what it used to be like? Of course, doesn't everybody? Doesn't everybody take a moment and just think, like, damn, this is so easy. It's just crazy to think like my my cell phone is is like more powerful than this a lot of older people will watch this video and say oh look at this these people who don't know what uh windows 95 is and they're just too into technology nowadays and they're too spoiled well i'm sorry okay it's not my fault i was born after this you probably had this reaction about older computers when this came out so finally go ahead and shut down the computer wait there's a right way to do this though I found it. Goodbye.
sit down. Is it going to do the, the sounds? It's now safe to turn off your computer. So I have to physically turn it off? It is now safe to turn off your computer. Nope. It's now safe to turn off. That actually scares me a little. Why does that tell me it's safe to turn it off? Like it wasn't safe before? Something would happen if I tried to do it without that step? It would blow up? 